this stock has beaten the stock market by more than 27% in the past year, and that's without counting the dividend, which is twice the market average. Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with an update to the official Bowtie Index, ticker BOWT, and the power of stocks in the utility sector. Companies in the utility sector sell something we all need, even in a recession. That means extremely stable cash flows and stock prices that beat others when the stock market crashes. Even the broader utilities fund, the Vanguard ETF seen here, has beaten the market by almost 18% over the past year, plus its 3% dividend yield. And while investors are hopeful that a new bull market is going to take tech and other growth stocks higher, you always need some exposure to these utilities and the consumer staple stocks we talked about in last week's video to smooth out your risks and to produce that cash flow. In this video, I'll highlight the one stock in the utility sector that I'm adding to the Bowtie Index, along with three other options you won't want to miss. If you want to see all the stocks in the index, go to Stock Card and to the Idea Center. Click on the indexes and you'll find the Bowtie Index. From here, you'll see the methodology we're using to pick stocks, the videos detailing it, some great ways to contribute your own ideas, and the stocks in the index with their percentages. Don't forget to follow the index to get early access to videos and be the first to see when I add a stock to the group. If you do sign up for Stock Card, use the promo code Bowtie Nation, all one word in lowercase, for an exclusive discount beyond the free trial. I'll reveal that one stock in the utility sector that made it into the Bowtie Index later, a stock beating the market by 27% on price and by 35% when you include dividends. First though, I want to highlight two other stocks and an ETF, all three of which pay higher dividend yields than this one. I'll also show you what I'm looking for in finding the best stocks in this group. First up is a stock I've talked about before, shares of Consolidated Edison, ticker ED, and its 3.3% dividend. Con Ed provides electric to more than 3.6 million customers and gas to over a million through its New York and New Jersey service area. It also operates and owns renewable energy infrastructure assets through its clean energy business. A management announced in October that the company is going to sell off its commercial renewable business for $6.8 billion to double down on the focus for rate-regulated clean energy for the residential customers. It's planning on spending $68 billion over the next decade to develop that clean energy business, and that $6.8 billion goes a long way to funding expenditures this year and next. Now, why I think this helps Con Ed especially is because New York has put itself at the epicenter in that push for clean energy, with a state goal of eliminating energy sector emissions by 2040. Now, that should make for a very favorable regulatory environment for Con Edison, and it's already coming through in the likely approval of the company's $2.4 billion rate increase plan over the next two years. Another reason I like Con Ed is for its operating margin, profitability of nearly 21% versus a 16% on average for peers. And while it might not always grow revenue as fast as peers, Con Ed gets more out of its revenue than most others. It's also increased its dividend for 47 consecutive years and pays a yield more than twice the market average. We're just getting started, but I do want to update you on the Bowtie Index, ticker BOWT. It's an official index, not an ETF, so it's not something you can invest in directly right now, but, but through our partnership with Index One, the index is live. Not only is the index beating the SPY, that broad market fund and back-tested results, but over the last five months since inception, the BOWT is up 9.8%, almost double to the return on the SPY. Some of our strongest stocks here include Arista Networks, up 49% since July, Deer, up 46%, and Freeport McMoran, up 36% over that period. That sector strategy has really paid off, with strong gains in the industrials, materials, and energy stocks, owning the best of breed stocks in each sector. But we have also had some losers here, like shares of Meta Platforms down 26%, and Tyson Foods down 22% since July. I still believe in these stocks, though, for their leading competitive advantages in their industries, so we're going to hold on to these for a rebound. Another play on the future of clean energy, Southern Company, ticker SO, pays an even higher dividend of 4.1%. The company operates as a regulated electric utility, serving more than 4 million customers in Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi along with 4.4 million customers in natural gas. And Southern has been one of the most aggressive in the utilities industry for its push to clean energy. In 2000, nearly 80% of the company's electricity generation came from coal. Today, it's just over 20%, and the company is pushing further into nuclear, natural gas, and renewables than anyone else. Despite being five years behind schedule, the new Vogtel nuclear plant is expected to start operation in the first quarter of 2023 and could provide a surprise boost to earnings. 
renewable energy incentives jumped in the Inflation Reduction Act signed by the President in August and should help all three of the utility stocks I'm watching here. I'll reveal the only utility stock to make it into the index, but if you're buying just one stock, it's also a good idea to have some money in a sector fund for that little bit broader exposure. For that, it's hard to beat the Vanguard Utilities ETF, ticker VPU, a fund of 65 utility companies paying a 3.2% dividend. This is basically the entire utility sector within the United States with all the major players here like NextEra, Duke Energy, even some of our individual stocks like Southern Company and Con Ed. It's just an easy way to invest in the entire sector and at one of the lowest expense ratios you're going to find at just one tenth of a percent. Now, since this is spread across so many companies, it's not going to give you quite the upside that picking that best of breed stock would, and, and some of these companies aren't going to benefit quite as much from the transition into renewables, which is why I like these other three stocks better, but this is an easy way to get that safety stock exposure. Speaking of safety stocks, if you didn't catch last week's video on the consumer staple sector, I'm going to put a card in the corner for that and at the end of this video. Stocks in that sector have beaten even these in the utility sector and provide even higher dividend yields, so make sure you check that out. And just like that Consumer Staples video where I showed you the two most important factors to watch when picking these best stocks to buy, I want to focus here on two factors for the utilities companies, two factors that are going to guarantee you invest in only the best. First is a good bond rating and a low cost of capital. You see, the utility industry is extremely capital intensive. It's not cheap to put down all those power lines, the power plants, and, and then to maintain it all. In fact, this is why the electric and gas industry is one of the very few regulated monopolies. Now, these companies have to have that guarantee that if they're going to spend the hundreds of billions of dollars developing the infrastructure, they, they have to know that they're going to make at least a minimum return, that competition isn't going to just be able to come in and drive them out of business. And this enormous cost to develop and maintain a utility company brings us back to that bond rating. Like a credit score for businesses, this rating on a company's financial health determines the interest rates they're going to pay on debt. You can see here are the three rating agencies and their levels. You can check a company's debt rating on its investor relations page, and the higher the better here, because with tens of billions of dollars in debt, well, for example, NextEra Energy owes $68 billion in debt, and at a 4.5% average interest rate, that's over $3 billion a year in interest alone. The other measure you want to look for here is the dividend payout ratio. Now, this is the full year's dividend payment, usually the last four quarters for most stocks, divided by the full year's profits. So the payout ratio is how much of the company's profits are going to pay that dividend. And here, lower is going to be better because it means the company has plenty of room to still make those dividend payments, even if earnings fall or, or even increase the payouts. On Stock Card, you can find this under the dividend sustainability. And you see here, Con Ed is paying out 66% of its earnings as a dividend. Now that's a full 10% under the industry average, so that's a positive for this stock. Now the only utility stock to make it into the Bowtie Index, NRG Energy, ticker NRG, and it's 3.4% dividend yield. The company is one of the largest energy producers in the United States with over 6 million residential customers and 16 gigawatts of generation across electricity and natural gas. Even though it's an independent provider, it still operates in that protected, regulated market for electric and natural gas, so cash flows are extremely consistent. That's helped management commit to a constant dividend growth while still being able to grow the company and the share price as well. The recent acquisition of Direct Energy is expected to produce over $300 million in savings and drive part of its strategic growth initiative, growing the dual fuel business and streamlining production. Now that should result in even stronger cash flows and higher dividends. The acquisition has already come through in higher revenue, doubling sales in the most recent quarter and taking the three-year annual rate to 65%, well over the peer average. NRG just encapsulates everything I'm looking for in a utility stock. Now that focus on renewables, a strong growth trend, good operating performance, and a market-beating dividend. Now if you want that same safety stock status but with higher dividends, Click on the video to the right for the three stocks to watch, three picks in the consumer staple sector for your portfolio. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.